Right, let's kick off. Let's get on with the legend beginning. Uh, I'm pretty sure the legend began many years ago. The, is it going? I oh, just had an X on. Uh, is he fun? Who's so? Not, not, not him, he's, he's a good one. Uh, him. Sanji's pretty fun, aye. Right. But uh, we'll say he's weak against female characters. Ah, okay, yeah. I'm not going that good now. Uh, so you're probably worth just going as Luffy or as well, aye. I'll just go. Just but that's, that's a clever like um, quirk to even put in the game you know to nah, match like his character like I was yeah. watching some stuff on um, uh, what do you call it uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai you know oh, those like, games yeah. and there's um, a bunch of funny little quirks like um, apparently if you go a Cyberman and you hit the like detonate move on Yamcha it kills him instantly oh, like, nice. no matter how much health he has and stuff oh, like that oh that's good um and there's just little things like when you transform into different like levels of Super Saiyan, like the hair is actually like different stuff like that. And I don't mean like one versus three. I mean like um, when you're playing the story mode, you know how they do like Super Saiyan one, but it's like grade one, grade two, grade three, and all that stuff. Right. Because you know, like um, it's like grade four is when Gohan and Goku are like in the Super Saiyan form all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like that hair looks a little bit different. Is that Budokai Tenkaichi or Budokai? Uh, I, th- I believe it was Budokai like three. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, but I was doing stuff like that. So it's nice when they pay attention like that. Well, he just freezes. I think he... Um, I don't know if he turns to stone or if he just gets higher levels of damage, but oh, it's just clever, just including it. Did you... Um, ah, you finished watching, what you call it? Guardians of Justice, didn't you? Yes. Guardians of Justice. Have you finished it yet? I have now. All right, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Talk Guardians for, of Justice. For, for Guardians of Justice, for those of you that haven't seen it, right, well, we're probably going to, like, spoil it, but it's on Netflix. Um, it's very... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word for it. It's quite bad, but it's sort of... It's, like, good in the places that are the least important. Like, it's got, like, these animations that are, like, 8-bit sort of, like, video game graphics. Then it has, like, sort of, you know, just, like, typical animation and stuff, like, 3D animation. And some of them look really good. Yeah. But then, see when it's just actors standing in front of a camera, it looks awful. Oh, it's, it looks terrible. The cost, yeah. the co- I said to you before, the, the costumes in it looked like they were on a shoestring budget. Mm-hmm. But obviously it wasn't, because there's... I mean... That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, they had... Clearly they had money. Ah, they were just throwing they, it yeah, in certain throw places. It, uh-huh, like, at the, at the animation budget and stuff. It's at the point where it's almost like, why wasn't the full thing just animated? Um... So it's one of those ones, it's not good, but I'd really, really recommend it. It's quite, it, it's unique, I'll give them that. It's, it's something where you could write an essay on it very oh, yeah, easily yeah. on, you know, the good and the bad. Yeah, because, well, the thing is, is the, the story, the broad strokes of the story, I like some of the, it's a bit kind of edgelord. It's, it's basically kind of... You ju- bet ju- it's just lord. Yeah, a bit edge yeah, lord. Yeah, but like, it's not definitely, is that? Um, no, it's like uh, the Justice League, but you know, legally safe ripoffs of Justice League, basically. You know, so it's like Marvelous Man, is it Superman and shit? Um, which is cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, the boys I like a lot, and obviously, all a bunch of those characters are just clearly Superman or whoever. And yeah, so like he kills himself right at the start, and then um, they try to figure out what happened and stuff. So I. And then it goes from there. It's sort of you're trying to figure out what happens, but then it gets really weird at the end. So, I I don't quite understand what happened at the end. What? What? Like, explain it to me. What actually happened? What I think happened. Yeah. What What I think happened is Marvelous Man became disillusioned with the corruption that existed within their sort of version of the Justice League. Right. And killed himself. Okay. Now he was a secret homosexual with. Yeah, I got that. But Darkwing him, him and, and Night, him and Nighthawk. Nighthawk, sorry, I wanted to say Darkwing, but oh, it's Dark, not. Nighthawk, sorry. That's Darkwing um, Duck. You think? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a gay relationship with Darkwing Duck. Maybe um, he did. But aye, so it's, now that you said that, someone's drawn up that fanfic right now. I bet. Oh, so, that will exist already. Yeah, yeah, probably. So Superman and Batman are basically, you know, they're, um, they're gay for each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's embarrassed about it. He, he kind of got married to their equivalent of Lois Lane. I think she's called like uh, no, Lane Lois like, or whatever. Yeah, but she she seems like Black Canary, almost like the way she dresses and stuff. But but yeah, I mean, he gets she's not that important. So ah, well, she cheats on him. No, she is important because she cheats on him with um their equivalent of Aquaman. Aye, uh, and um, 
So he's in a sham marriage with a woman who doesn't love him. He erases um, Nighthawk's memories as well of their relationship. Yeah, I wasn't sure why he does that. I wasn't sure who had done it. Like, I don't know if Nighthawk did it to himself or... No, Marvelous, Marvelous Man, Man does it. Marvelous Man did it to him. Yeah, right. It's, it's worth mentioning as well, like the it, it, the time period. It's in what, like eighty four, eighty seven, something like that. Yeah, it's I, like sort of mid eighties anyway. It's meant to be mid eighties, yeah. Which is again a weird choice to just kind of go. Uh, it's Justice well, League gay, in the nineteen eighties. Well, um, the whole the whole gay twist, like people hated gay guy. Wasn't that had the whole AIDS sort of gay panic started yet? Ah, well, it, at, um, at um, that time was yeah. that about that. Basically, it was not like socially accepted to be gay at that point. Mm. Whereas now it'd be like, so he's gay, like who cares? Whereas I think that was uh, like so part yeah, of the reason. Uh, it fits into the timeline. Yeah, yeah, it, right. makes, yeah. it makes a bit more sense. If they'd known each other since what, like 1960? I'm, I'm sure it says they met. Um, but he's also gay with someone else. Or there's a villain who um, Superman's gay with. Yeah, um, Mind Master, Mind, Mind Master. Uh, which is, was really distracting because he's played by. Did you watch um, Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah, he's played by freaking Walt Junior from Breaking Bad. Yes, that I knew I'd recognise. Yeah, him. Did, was it that His way? Weird list. Uh-huh. Now that you said, I'm like, you that's who he uh-huh. was. You know, you knew him, but you didn't know where from. Ah, well, I recognised it's Charlie Sheen's. I want to say wife, but it's not his wife anymore. Um, is the is Marvelous Man's <laughs> wife? Right, right. Like, aye. So she's a bit famous for this. So I um I she was one that I recognised but I couldn't think who she was. She looks um she's clearly had some like plastic surgery done, but oh, it's that aye. way where it makes her look like older really plastic. Yeah, yeah, she looks like, older as a result, I reckon, but anyway. Two she's on. Um <coughs> So yeah, I, I kind of I didn't see that coming, I guess. But it was the the big revelation at the end. That I didn't quite get. Red Wing. Oh no, that that was that was fine. It was the with like the Galactus thing, the Krang Galactus, whatever it was. You remember? I'm trying to remember it specifically. So I remember Kang Galactus comes. So I mean, I mean, it's it's basically like again, I'm gonna, just going to use like the the actual DC characters' names. Ah, I mean, well. Otherwise, I get lost. So basically, the the Batman character. Um, it turns kind of deviants and stuff into like soldiers yeah. so that the, the earth is prepared to fight mm-hmm. this he basically Galactus character creates like a, a sort of global dictatorship yeah he creates a brainwashed army which is interesting because that's kind of what Superman does in Injustice yeah. I, actually, I actually preferred seeing Batman do it because I don't know it just kind of felt a bit more like something Batman would do well, I, 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 neither of them would do it, but if one of them were going to do it, I, I'd buy Batty Boy doing it more than Clark. But um, plus the whole the whole evil Superman thing, it's been kind of been done to death. Uh, at the even moment. Superman has been done to death. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I yeah. liked having a, a different take on it. I liked having yeah. evil evil Batman. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't instantly think that he's the bad guy. Yeah, he's no, exactly. He's, he's that's why it's that's that's the what I'm saying. Like the broad strokes of the story, I think are actually really cool. Yeah. Like it leads you along quite well you think that he's the good guy um, and to well to begin with he's sort of I guess you could say he kind of is um, ah, he's dickish but he's um, aye but you know he's like he's, he's on the case It's because he's, he's older as well so like ah he's a grizzled Batman this this guy yeah he'd be what like I don't know 50 50, aye, 50 aye, or something like that like, that. like that, you know they've been around him so that guy because the dude um, that's another thing that was actually quite good is like when you see them first meeting in like 20 years past um, Nighthawk it's clearly a different actor playing him but like you don't see his face but it's the same um, Marvelous Man yes. so like it, it's as if he hasn't aged yeah Marvelous you know, Man yeah. ages you see. ah exactly whereas you see um, other people around him aging because I'm sure they mentioned yeah, it imagine you can use circle and just punch yeah. their, their face off what that yeah it was the ending it was the bit of the end I didn't quite get because I was like so is he not coming or what is who not coming Galactus yeah it's not really clear if he's because of the way they animated it it's sort of is he in preparation and he dies anyway or is he not coming is it meant to be a cliffhanger for season 2 which I well fuck you there's no no, I I don't know you don't have me either Um, uh, Smoker's one weakness is a gust of wind (laughs) 
He's like my favourite marine. His power is so cool. He's like intangible, you know what I mean? He can't hit him. Yeah. That, that's really cool when they use it well. But then, ah, uh, gust of wind. Just, just defeats him. Nah, it kind of sucks for you, smoker. I love him, he's like smoking two cigarette, like two cigars, sorry. At the same time, man. What kind of a man could do that? A real man, that's the answer. Um, ah, the, there's there's some other cool twists in it. Like, they, they sort of... Most characters are who you'd expect as the DC equivalent. So you've got, like, Nightwing. Yeah, it's not... Um, it's called... What's it called? The... the, the bootleg universe or something like that it's called it's <laughs> oh dark. it is called the bootleg universe um, yeah like it's it's kind of you're meant, you're meant to know who they're sort of ripping off like that's part of the but but it's good because it plays with your kind of pre-expectations so um, like I'm going to say Little Wing is like Damien he's more like Damien uh, yeah, I, I would have said, said Damien um, but he is also um Another character, he's like their sort of equivalent Shazam character. Yeah. And it's quite clever because they send him on a mission to kind of like trick the female Flash and kind of keep her under watch mm. and then take her out when the time's right. Which, I was like, that isn't a bad twist either. Yeah. Because he sort of sells her on the plan of, yeah, you go in there, you know, fight um, Nighthawk wear him down and you know when the time uh, comes I'll sort of come yeah the, the full Justice League will, will storm in and we'll rush him and take him down and um I just that's that's not his intent at all he just knows that the only way to kind of get her there in one place because uh, in this universe she's faster than like Superman well like, and then the Flash is faster than Superman is he? yeah I always thought it was like an imperceptible difference like no the, have they, I think, have they I always think back established when, that the Flash is faster not than always but it's, it's been established for a long time okay. they had um, a race way back when um, and um, it was I think it was a draw but um, no the Flash can like go so fast he can go back in time and stuff like that Superman can't do that so the Flash is faster okay Um and, and you know what you know what I like actually is um, in the comics they've actually clarified Wally West is faster than Barry Allen for really for some reason yeah I can't remember how but they, you know there was some like Wally West can do something like Barry can't so yeah they, even even among the the flashes uh, Wally West is the the fastest fair enough so yeah I wouldn't say I have a favourite flash mine's, oh, that's mine's a lot. I like Barry Allen I do like Barry Allen but that's because I've watched the TV show of The Flash. Well, I like Wally West because Justice League, the animated series. Ah, but you've not watched the CW, like, Flash. Mm. Him and Iris West and all that that entails. Are you getting cheeky? You see uh, if you push up on the D-pad. You can swap characters and build up everyone's uh, super meter. And then when you launch your, like, R2 circle super move, everyone will launch, like, a super attack. Um, or that. That's kind of it. Wonder Woman's a bit of a bitch. Wonder Woman, yeah, either Wonder Woman character really sort of wasn't in it. I, I, maybe they're going for the some sort of Elseworld stories. Have her basically she's just patched. Um, Aye, and humanity. That's... She's just kind of like on famous gear. Like oh, whatever, deal with it. I'm sick of Yeah. So I suppose it's kind of like that. She's sort of just off doing her own thing. Which is just a bit lazy. It feels because it's been done before. Yeah. So um, I the Wonder Woman equivalent's not really in it. At least Aquaman was the one having the affair, so it was kind of like. Uh, yeah, it makes it makes it worse because he's sort of in the team, rather than if it were just like some dude. I, it <coughs> actually kind of works. It gives him something to do, and yeah, I suppose. I say because Superman is gay. Yeah, like it's established that yeah, he, he is like you know, his wife's just seeking a bit of comfort and all that. Yeah, it's a pure sham marriage. Um, he's almost more like Namor. Yeah. Like, um, which I mean, they're they're so similar anyway. Wait, let's be honest. Oh, don't don't say that. There's more. There's yeah, more to. <laughs> there's more to Namor, and I would say than there is to um, Aquaman. Really? Well, he says Imperious Rex, and 
stuff. Dude, that's just a catchphrase though, that's not like <laughs> meaningful uh, personality. That's, like, that's Michael Bay's way of writing, it's like, oh, g give him a lisp, right, so that he's the guy with the lisp and people, there you go, that's his guy, yeah. 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 <laughs> or the, the stutter or what have you. It's like, did you ever see It? The original or the... Uh, I suppose either, but I'm thinking of the remake. Uh, I haven't seen the remake now. The first one's actually really good, and um, the second one was kind of boring, but anyway, aye. Um, yeah, like I said, it's actually pretty good, but it's like... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the characters, the kids in it, there's... I think you need to go north. Um, to get your guys through this. Oh, okay. Shenanigans. Did take out the... Oh, I didn't know if they I'll were... Take out the lightning rod and the sort of... The big guys and that'll clear the way. Cool, cool, cool. Um, aye, and, and it, even though I liked it, it's like the kids... I don't remember any of their names. I just remember it's like... The kid the with fat the... fat kid. The kid with the starter, the fat kid, <laughs> the specky kid, the girl, and the African-American kid. And that, like, that's... Seriously, that's their personalities. <laughs> like the smelly kid, whatever. Yeah. Aye, the Jew kid with the... Oh, no, no, I think there was the Jewish kid and then... Oh, the Jewish kid and the hypochondriac mother kid were two different kids, actually. So the one with the stutter is the one whose little brother gets chomped Did by... Did you mean it select to shrink and grow the map? No. Stop it. No, I've not done it at all. The mini map keeps changing. No, this control must just be a bit dodgy. Or does it do it when there's stuff going on? No, it shouldn't. I'm sure it should just hit my button. I'm yeah, trying to think, that there's nothing else really to it. That's the only problem with the show, is we kind of summarised it in what? Like 10 minutes? Yeah. So we, we just thought, you're welcome, we just saved you like, what, seven hours of your life? It's just so bizarre, because um, um, it's the actors in it as well that you said Charlie Sheen's ex-wife or whatever is there uh, um, DDP the main well the Batman guy is a DDP he was a wrestler aye uh, yeah <coughs> he's actually I think pretty good yeah he was alright wasn't he, he's There's probably the only one who's actually his, his acting's pretty good he's pretty um, he's like a grizzled Batman he aye. just looks dead out of shape that was that's the only letdown I feel is it's really hard to immerse yourself in the superhero world when he looks like he couldn't fight sleep um. Yeah, maybe because I know he was a wrestler. To me, he looks like a kind of dude who was in shape and is probably still. He could probably still bench a bit, but not. He does look out of shape. I right. like I agree, but it's sort of. He's got a workout system called DDP Yoga. Right. Um. So yeah, I think that's his thing now. Is he does like yoga and um, people swear by it. They say it's actually really good. You know, some like sort of <coughs> diet plan and. Yoga and all that pish. Um But which, uh, yeah, apparently it's decent. But yeah, so that's DDP, he's cool. See when, I forget when it is, it's one of the early fight scenes, it's one of like the first fight scenes. His, oh, um, we talked about the fight scenes, are right? Uh, his, uh, the fight scenes were alright. They weren't, they wouldn't blow you away, but again, they're decent, decently like executed, decently filmed, decently kind of choreographed and everything. So that's where the money went as well. And it's like, for the love of God, like, Nighthawk's on screen so much could you have spent an extra 10 bucks on his costume yeah, exactly because it looks it looks like just it looks like hockey pads hockey pads would have looked better probably and it's it's stuff like that that's so distracting and there's a lot of shots that are clearly just in front of a green screen and they look as bad as like nostalgia critics green screen oh stuff. Uh, yeah I mean it's they're, they're terrible <laughs> they're absolutely horrendous where am I going am I going to am I going north still uh, yes, yeah, you guys have made it. It looks like. Oh, right, well, they're, they're starting to get there at least. Sure, right, I'll go. So, uh, any other areas you can clear, defeat, question mark? Cool, cool, cool. Um, aye, the, the, the problem is, like, even like. The, the names aren't. They, they haven't put enough effort for me in, in the names, apart from maybe Nighthawk. Uh, like, Marvelous Man, I suppose, is okay, but like, the speed. The speed, yeah, that would garbage. And, and our fast force. Ah, like, uh, it's in the speed on. force. Because like, I mean, you're not thinking even like the acceleration, <laughs> like dimension, or you know, even that. It's just like it's just the fast force. Yeah, like, that fuck was off. trash. Um, ah, I like you say it was RJ Mitty was Mind Master. I'm just looking through some of the the characters to see if there's a, is Denise Richards 
that was her name. Like I said, ah, I said before it was Charlie Sheen, um, Charlie Sheen's ex-wife or whatever. Golden Goddess, Mr. Smiles, they never really explored. Did you, I, that was weird, like that kind of, that could have went somewhere but just didn't. So basically Mr. Smiles is like the Joker. Um, but was that, like what I found, <coughs> I guess what I found confusing was, they're accusing Nighthawk of stuff at the same time as they're also revealing that he's done stuff, right? Yes, aye, yeah. And like different people are saying things, so I was a bit confused, I didn't know if... Aye, they no. say that Mr. Smiles, he killed the original one and then basically replaced him and he's basically just a hitman for Nighthawk. Yes, now. yeah, was What's that? that? Yes. That's really, that, I think that's a cool twist. That but is. is that but true can, or was that just someone saying that about him and it's not? Yeah, it kind of feels like the speed was just kind of making these... But the problem is they were all like summarised quite quickly. Aye, so like you boom, don't boom, get boom, a chance. So yeah, you don't get a chance to land all these twists. But I'm sure a few of them were like. I mean, that's object, a good like, twist. I'm sh- yeah, it is. It's cool. If you'd done sure that like episode the... six or seven, that would have been like a good like. Really? Yeah. Like that's that's something that Batman maybe would do. Is he, well, not Batman, but you know what I mean. That an Elseworld Batman. Yeah, would do. an evil one. Yeah, it was because like. I'm sure there were like people were there was some like sort of pure fake news sort of segments at the same time I think like a sort of montage <coughs> so I just got a little confused what was what was true and what was them just sort of speculating and making stuff up and then there's where's, the whole there's, there's, there's the whole Anubis Harbor. south ah, south side Oh, where that, ah, where that guy is. Ah, just, just run down yourself. You don't need to worry about those backup guys. We didn't even talk about the whole Anubis terrorist group. I saw Nighthawk set up Anubis. Yeah. Is that what it was saying? But, I th- but I again, think so, that, yeah. that I find a wee bit confusing because when did he do that? I but not why, just that, why did that, he not remember that he'd done that? Ah, but his, his equivalent of Nightwing gets killed by them as well. Yeah, so and that clearly he... wasn't his intention. Ah, yeah, he's clearly like sad when that happens. So did he, did he plan that and then delete that from his own memory? Like, it gets a bit messy. Ah. Maybe he did, but like I'm saying, it just gets a bit messy at points. It, the, the problem is, is that all the conclusions hit you more or less in the final third of the final episode. Ah, it goes boom, 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 and it just kind of goes ah. These were all good twists, weren't they? And you, you kind of go aye, but the pacing in this yeah. show has been yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was like <laughs> it was it's really weird. They need. It needed like a. It needed a good editor, ah, producer, a, or something to of, help a, put it all together. It needed like a, a second draft type of thing. <laughs> yeah, aye, that's exactly what it needed, aye. Uh, my, um, this is pure speculation. I've not looked it up on IMDb, the people right. involved or anything like that. But I was saying, I reckon it's like the pure passion project of like a, an animator, or like a VFX guy, something like that. And that'll be why the animation and the VF, some of the VFX and stuff like that looks really good um, he was in it Adi yeah. Shankar played um, Lex Luthor now that I see his face Lex Luthor oh that guy <laughs> hey, yeah I, he okay. played the Lex Luthor I, well, there you go yeah so that's what I'm saying I reckon I reckon um, or so is, is he an actor or what uh, I don't know man he was in yeah ah, he was in like Dread and um Machine Gun Preacher, some stuff I kind of reckon is. He was in a Walk Among the Tombstones. Nah, there's an executive producer, never mind. Sorry. Oh, he was a producer on Castlevania Nocturne. Oh, cool. So basically what I'm getting at is I reckon it was like mostly funded like by him, probably. Aye. Like, like a real passion project, and that'll be like there's a bunch of spaces where the, the corners have been cut. Um. Like, I think they were sort of, oh, it'll be fine if, like, the costumes look crap, that'll give it a sort of charm, but it kind of, at least for me, it just doesn't, it just looks sort of cheap, but... It is weird. I forgot that as well. The mind they defeat Robo-Hitler. When they, did they do that? World War III, right at the start. Oh, the yeah, whole, the whole yeah, reason exactly. Marvelous they just, Man they just, comes. They just glaze over it. I uh, just sort of, like, Robo-Hitler... And again, it's back to this. Some of the animation is like exceptional. Robo Hitler is not. Mm. Robo Hitler is like. Did, didn't a, that look paint, trash? Or? Well, it was a paint over the picture, was it not? But then it does do a wee cute animation. But yeah, so World War Three happens. Robo Hitler caused it, and Marvelous Man is the one that saved us. 
Aye, ah, that's like why he first um, appears in it. But it's the 1980s now, timeline wise. The mad president, Nicholas E. Newcomb. Aye, ah, that was trash as well. He wasn't very good. Aye, ah, a lot of characters came to nothing, which is why we're struggling to remember them. Awesome man. Yeah, that was, uh, what'd you call it? He was meant to be Shazam, 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 yeah. Shazam, Shazam slash Robin, it was weird. But you totally forget about Blue Scream and Black Bow. Aye, because they showed up for like two seconds. No, but they were junkies. Oh, so they were, yeah. The, yeah, and, see, I forgot that. And, and that's the kind of, um, in many ways, the this the more noble thing about Nighthawk is he's like, he does give them the chance to, um, you know, experience retribution. Mm-hmm. By kind of giving, like, because the, the two of them, they didn't kill him, but they were they were meant to be on watch. I don't know, I'm kind of, maybe I'm misremembering Yeah, they were supposed to be at the Citadel, you know, at the time of Tower of uh, Justice thing, whatever, um, when he did it, when he shot himself. No, no, it, um, I am misremembering. It's, it's not just that, it's the fact that he catches them. They're another part of the whole not living up to marvellous man or superman's like moral ethics they kill people and he catches them killing people um where will that go I don't know head to Low Town I think you're waiting for Sanjay to get to Low Town oh, ah that's what it is hurry up then ah they, they just kind of get there mm. they get there when they get there and Zorro's just standing out it yeah yeah we'll set and sail the boat's already gonna I'm pretty sure the boat leaves without you Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yes. Oh, so, so definitely, like you said, just needed a second kind of. Um, needed a, 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 a Somebody, rewrite. Some other writer could take the broad strokes of it and make it something really, really good. But as it is, it's sort of very fascinating but quite bad is sort of how I'd but worth a watch in my opinion no definitely well, worth a watch watch yeah. the first one and if it's too sort of the, the crappy outfits and stuff like that if it's too distracting for you fair enough but for me I was sort of like what is this and the, uh, the, the pacing's dead weird as well it's almost like a music video like the pacing of it it's, it's strange um, very kind of like quick paced but I, I, I'd, I'd recommend it I was so um, I don't know how I stumbled across it yeah, because it was weird. You re- recommended it to me, but I had to like properly go into Netflix yeah, and like, sort of search for like yeah. Guardians of Justice. And I mean, there is another movie. I, I don't think it's called Guardians of Justice. Um, ah, there now. They're, now they've opened the gates. Just smashing. Um, but it is called like the Guardians, and I'm sure it's on um, Prime. Oh, uh, aye, it's, there's the thing about the little owls, what's that? No, it's not the owl thing, the Guardians. Turn of the Guardians or something like that. It's about, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's a pure <laughs> generic it? name. It's um, it's about, like, a, the Russian equivalent of, like, um, a Suicide Squad. Oh, right. And I really liked it. I'm sure I saw it on DVD or something somewhere, um, but just never got around to, to watching it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be hot garbage. Aye. Like, is it Indian Superman or something? Uh, I've, I think I've got... Tur- there's Turkish Superman. Is it Turkish Superman? Maybe it's Turkish I Superman. think that's been on my watch later list for ages, but I've just never been in the right mood, because I know it'll be awful, but... Oh, you can't, I don't want to waste an hour and a half of, like, quality brain time on it. Yeah, you need to sort of be the right uh, mood. Oh, there's another film I need to show you. It's called... Uh, we should make a video on it, because it's fascinating. It's on, it's on Amazon Prime. So... I, I was saying, like, that's my goal now, actually, by the end of, like, next year, to have something on Amazon Prime, because clearly it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to show you Till Man. It's, it's, um... Till Man? Yeah, it's called Till Man, seen. right? And it's... I don't want to say too much about it, because I want you to see it, but... You know, ev- you know how everything, have you noticed, on Amazon Prime has quite a good review? Films you end up watching, they're pure mediocre. They always seem to have, like, four stars. Yeah, at yeah. least four, yeah. Yeah, like, everything's Very four rarely stars. would you have a one or a two. This is a one star. <laughs> like, uh, uh, on Amazon Prime, it's been reviewed at one star. So, like, you know it's trash. Um, and I, it's one of those ones, there's points where I feel bad for making fun of it because it's clearly just, like, a group of, like, people. You know, just normal people. No. Um, 
there's no uh, you know like animated logos when it opens yeah like it shows like the whoever studios Universal Studios all that sort of stuff yeah it's just like it just like you know text just like um, Billy Productions or whatever <laughs> um but then it's it's really mean spirited is the thing so the, like then I don't uh, I don't feel that bad so the basic setup is there's a um man who attacks vulnerable women I'll say you know what I'm getting at um called Towel Man right and some of the scenes of it are like quite sort of graphic and stuff um and yeah so it's about it's about oh, Towel Man run, and like they're up north you got to save um. Well, ah, you can bust him first, but run up and save uh, Zoro before he runs away. Zoro, yeah. Just hit him again. Hit him again with Circle. Where is he? It's these two, aye. Pound them. Oh, they're all getting ripped. Pound them into the fucking dock. That buggy, yeah, my goon. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He's got a kill buggy. Um, what was I just saying? Yeah, we're talking about Tilma. Oh, yeah, so, like, um, yeah, it's about this, you know, um, man who attacks people and stuff. And they're trying to figure out, like, who he is. And then um, he... I, I don't want to say something, I want you to watch it. Okay, no, fine, we'll watch it, we'll watch it. Right, we'll it's it. only about an hour and, like, one minute. And there's okay. a few characters that show up. And I, I was, like, trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, like... Because we were, we were both guessing, like, oh, I bet that's Tile Man, I bet, I bet so-and-so is Tile Man, and yada, yada, yeah, yada. Right. And, um, you know, because there's characters that would show up and then never show up again, and we're like, oh, maybe that was... Maybe that was Tile Man. Maybe that was Tile Man. No. And that's, like, your sort of clue. But then there's so many of them that show up and then never show up again. It's like, obviously they can't all be Tile Man. <gasps> oh, or are they? Oh, I don't know. I hadn't thought of that. But, um... Aye, it's garbage, but it was... Um, mean spirited garbage, so you wouldn't. Yeah, I was mean spirited, so I don't, I don't, I don't feel bad making fun of it. Yeah. And um, so inept, you know, it was that way. Like we had to put the subtitles on because there's points where you can't even hear what they're saying and stuff like that. Uh, like really amateur stuff like that. That's why I'm saying, like, how did this end up on Amazon Prime? <laughs> With a four even... star review, exactly. No, no, no right. it has a one star review. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> La- Lama, have you ever seen Lama again? No, it's same sort of shit. It's um, just about this uh, vampire llama right. crash lands on Earth and it's an, you know, maybe it's an alien, I don't know. And it um, starts killing people, like, one by one. So they're on their way to a house party and it kills this girl on her way. But it's like, you know, like, she's, like, in the car and then it, like, fires lasers at her. And again, it's, like, nostalgia critic level, like, animation. Yeah. And then it's, like, her, like, sitting in the car, clearly not on fire, but, like, you know the fire animation she's like ah! yeah. so she's burning and it's like shit like that and the llama goes on its way to fucking kill everybody uh, Zombievers is another one I want to see Zombievers ah right, same shit isn't it so, well because the thing is is um, I think the reason I, I gave Tao Man a, ch- a chance um, actually no 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 by example the reason I gave Guardians of Justice a chance was even though it looked cheap and everything I watched something really cheap on Amazon a wee while ago um, The Dark Tapes I think it was called Okay. so it was something along those lines and it was quite cheap but it was really good oh, it was okay. really like creative and imaginative and stuff mm. um, so I was like you know sometimes you do get some like kind of low budget sort of gems ah, and those are the people who should be getting opportunities to do the high budget Yeah. it shouldn't be like just every movie is a Zack Snyder or a Spielberg it's like there are other directors yeah. give them a chance these guys have obviously shown that I can make a good movie on a shoestring budget yeah. fuck me start giving these guys a couple million to make something decent exactly something kind of original um, um, yeah but Till Man was, was low budget like just like amateurish inept like have you ever seen a movie and never been made one um, and yeah I'm Sanji. Why you put your movie on Netflix for all to see? If they'd let me, then I would, but um, I need to finish it first. I can put what's up. Uh, maybe. And then well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, other people can critique I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's like, I'm not saying I'm pure amazing. I'm saying this is awful. I yes, mean, I could do better, basically. Well, exactly. No, I'd agree. 
I mean, I'm, good I, I'm biased because I'm in it, but, yeah, but it's still, it's like, no, I, I do think that uh, directing is one of your definite, like, strengths in terms of making stuff. Well, but I just mean, like, little things like the shots look nice, it's just basic kind of composition and stuff like that, like, there's none of that in Tilma, and it's like people walking in front of the camera, but I don't mean, like, deliberately, I mean, just, like, they didn't have a permit to be filming where they were filming and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and just right, right. There's a bit I do have to ruin for you because there's like a random old guy at the park and right. um, it's so badly like acted and edited. He goes like that, tell me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, as if he doesn't believe them. He comes out of nowhere and, and leaves. Maybe he was tall, man. <sighs> oh, who knows? Oh, I need to show you, it's amazing. Well, that's, that's good. At least two two suggestions for the general public to go out and watch. I, I would definitely recommend Guardian. W- would you recommend watching Till Man? Is it fascinating enough for an yeah, hour of your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, it's, ah, yeah. It's one of those ones that again you need to be in the right mindset because it's trash, but it's it's like someone made that. It's it's that way. Like <laughs> there's definite effort put into it. Ah, exactly. But yeah. It's crap. That's it's like I, I don't know how to explain it. You see some movies that are made by professional, you know, big budget Hollywood studios, and they're just kind of soulless and bland and forgettable. Nah. Man is definitely not that. There's there's <laughs> legitimate, genuine effort in there. Yeah. It's just that they don't know what they're doing. Aye. So, yeah, and that's what makes it interesting. Not good necessarily, but you, yeah. Uh, hold your attention. At Aye. Least. And I guess dead short. It's like an hour and two minutes or something. So. Uh, it's not even a waste of your life like a three hour fucking The Irishman people talk about how amazing The Irishman was I was like I really didn't get it I thought it was good but um, yeah it was it was, it, it was good it was good why was it as long as it had to be it why good. did it win all the Oscars and stuff like that I was like oh it was good I thought it was adequate didn't, yeah yeah I, Would it, was... I wouldn't put it as one of Scorsese's best no I mean but it was long and it was painfully long I thought aye uh, but aye what's my thoughts Tall man.